Hey, what's good, everybody? My name is Alchemy. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about five things that I would like Bitwig to go back to. Um, that was a feature that seems like it was taken away or that they kind of, I don't know, switched up the workflow on. Now, with beta six, it's the very first beta. And so all of these complaints or these things that I'd like to see go back could just be you know, a bug or something of the sort. So please don't bash them for any, or don't bash them anyways. But uh, things that I've noticed that have changed have impacted my workflow with making beats and all that, that I kind of really want them to go back to, at least most of them. So let's go ahead and talk about that. First off, the major thing that I've noticed is that the resolution uh, within this has been changed in this other mode. And so you used to be able to just open the grid and go into... Uh, 650 whatever it's been reduced to 32 but the only way to actually access that grid uh, division is by zooming in now you might be like why would you ever do this and whatever uh, sometimes if you want a mixture between snapping on something and you have a really large grid division like this you see how this still snaps that can actually be helpful while i personally do just use the adaptive grid and whenever it comes into moving stuff off or whatever I've noticed that there's a change in the behavior of moving clips in between those grid lines to where like you have to move it harder and then it pushes it way further as, instead of trying to get really fine. And the issue that I have with that is that it makes me have to zoom in more than I would like to. It still works. It's still okay. You can also hold option in order to put this off of the grid. Sorry, shift uh, in order to place this where you want to. But it's just one of those things. And speaking of when it comes into moving clips, I, uh, in Bitwig 5, you can just grab this, and before I click, you can hold Option and do this. And now within the other version, you actually have to click on it first and then hold Option to make a copy of that. Um, I am somebody that is like, just, yeah, maybe that's an OCD thing or whatever, but I really don't want to have to go like this, then hold Option, and then move this. I'd rather just prefer to be like Option and then drag. Uh, I don't know, it's order of operations thing. The other one is kind of a big deal to me. Um, it's a big deal, but it's not a game changer or like a, a thing. But in the new version, you have to right click and go add automation lane. And what I miss from Bitwig 5 is being able to just open the hamburger and whatever this pop, whatever pops up, you see that we have an automation line for. I don't know if this is something that's going to be re-implemented in the future versions of the beta, or maybe they're trying to make people use the automation mode more, but I'm not really somebody that wants to toggle an automation mode just to do automation. I just want to open this like this. And it makes, to me, it makes sense because you go from here to here to here, right? Uh, when you're working on this, as opposed to automation lane, open this up now another automation like that's another click and that microseconds that i'm losing with time is something that i'm like i i can yeah i don't know when you work in as long as i have in the daw anything that slows you down when you're used to like having this like really streamlined workflow is immediately jarring to you um the other two things are not that big of a deal i still think that the light gray timeline should be implemented i'm not really sure if they're going to or or what but the gray hue scales and all that other stuff is kind of like why wait where did this go to me the contrast of this looks pretty nice within the blacks and all that i just think that's kind of strange that they completely removed the brighter timeline and now it's like everybody used the dark one of the reasons why i mentioned this is because as a content creator i've actually gotten several complaints that my timeline or that what i'm doing is not visible to people so it's an accessibility thing and while i'm somebody that prefers the dark mode um, maybe there's a middle ground in between outside of just changing the shade of the entire program that we can work on or something of the sort or maybe they can add more contrast or yeah i don't know but you definitely can't get your timeline as bright as this regardless which is kind of weird um the last thing that i wanted to talk about is the rainbow knobs rainbow knobs were introduced in the beta 3 and a lot of people gave bitwig a lot of hate for that and i'm so disappointed in the community for that can't help it but i'm disappointed in you all uh, maybe it could be something that could be toggled or whatever but the rainbow knobs were super sick and um i did talk about some other feature suggestions like if we wanted to customize maybe the colors with this we can do it in the same way but even still 
I don't know, man, that thing was dope and I personally miss it. So yeah, um, some of the workflow things, I hope that they regress to, um, they don't feel like positive changes for me personally, but I'm curious, I don't really want to talk about features that they should add. These are things that were already implemented that they switched over. And that's why I'm making this video as opposed to, oh, they need global scale locking and all that other stuff or whatever. Like this is just, yeah, I don't know. Does this make sense to you all? Or do you all agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments sections. Thanks so much for watching and check out alchemy.com if you want to support the channel. See ya.